Hello and welcome back in today's journey is classic and retro miles for smiles down at Croft Racetrack uh, so we're on my way there now it's currently six o'clock so I ain't got long to chat because I need to be down there because there's meant to be a meet up in a drive through on my way down there so I'm currently going to Middlesbrough with to Chris's and we're going to one of his cars to uh, Croft Racetrack so as you can see what we're in we're in the C-Class this will be my first proper drive in it absolutely brilliant six o'clock in the morning nice and cool got the roof well down what do you call it but the roof back um absolutely lovely driving experience this car is we'll get it up on the motorway cruise control on sit back and that's what this car is about fun car on the country roads motorway cruise at the same time you know it's a c-class your general motorway cruiser but at the same time this being the sport back you've got that bit more sporty appeal so yeah over the moon with this car and i'm really looking forward to giving it its first proper drive well it's probably had in a long time because the the fella who had this car didn't do a lot of miles in it so yeah really looking forward to that as you can see got my son with us today charlie he'll uh, he's looking forward to the race track um got all my supplies in the back i am kind of hoping that there's some kind of racing going on at the track uh, that would be great charlie would love to see that and to be quite honest so would i uh, but i've got no idea never been haven't got a clue all new experiences so we're going to jump in get sorted I don't really need the sat nav on but i don't know about you guys but i like to keep a track on what's ahead traffic road works so just in case you're wondering you've been there enough times dan yeah but i, I still like the sat nav on but the car again just love i've took the seat cover off because i've been working on it this week but we'll jump inside it is just such a nice place to be in here especially when you've got that whole panoramic roof down it's just great look at the wrong camera there it's great having the roof open. Uh, what do you think of the roof, Charlie? Good. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So, right, so I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to crack on, get down to Middlesbrough. And like I said, supposedly that's some kind of a meet-up before the show and then a drive together to the show. May get some video recording of that and while we're at the show. I don't know what to expect. This video will be getting deleted if I can't manage to do anything. I'm just doing this as a bit of an intro. So I'll catch you soon when we get down to Middlesbrough. Well, I thought I'll do a little bit of filming while I'm here. We're just currently at the racetrack. I'll spin the camera around. There's a Porsche coming around. It must be a driver training because it's not really going very fast. Must just be a, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Must just be like a driving experience. But there has been some cars. There has been some cars absolutely spanking it around the track. I believe Tiff Nadell was there. So what I heard on the Tannoys, I don't know if that's actually true, but there's been a few performance. Um, I thought sure it was a BMW M4 and there was two touring cars blasting around the track. I'm not sure if there was a crash before because the marshal come racing up and uh, went onto the into the track and shut things down so I don't know what's going on but I just thought I'd show a bit of a bird's eye view here there's far too much for us to do a film of everything but I just don't know if the, uh, if, if, the, if it's going to be worth doing because there's so much and so many people I'm not sure if I'll be able to properly uh, record everything but that's like a, I'll show you over there in the distance no idea if this zooms in for you guys watching but there's a, a fair over there so I'm Tate Charlie over there, but that's the car show, just there alone. So, I'll zoom back out. So we're going to have a walk across there now. I'm just going to pause this out. As I've mentioned, I've, Charlie, come on. Charlie's having fun. Uh, as I've mentioned, I can't walk around every single car, give a description of every single car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet up with Chris uh, and we'll have a little walk around. And I'll just kind of show you what's there. I'm just going to walk around, do a brief walk around of it, because I've got a feeling just to walk around at this pace around the majority of the show, I think I'm going to be way into touching nearly an hour. Obviously, there's the track as well. I wouldn't mind getting a few videos in for you guys of the cars actually pelting it around the track at full speed, proper performance cars. Uh, so I'll try and get a bit of that in. There's a load of super cars over at the main part, but it is packed. I should have done this earlier when it was quiet, but obviously there's a general public here as well, and you're fighting just to even get a look at the cars, so it's going to be impossible to film. And supercars isn't really my thing. They're, 
I don't know. I just I don't see the point in featuring them on the channel because let's face it, most of us probably can't afford a brand new McLaren or a Ferrari. And if you want to watch that kind of stuff, there'll be stuff on Top Gear and all of the top films to watch it. So I would prefer just to record the average everyday cars like what we're in the Rover Tomcat, and we've got a beautiful Rover 800 parked right next to it, completely by accident. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a bit walk around here. Once I'm up there, I'll do a bit of filming. I'm not sure how much I'm going to speak on camera. I may just do a walk around um, with the phone in my hand. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. But it's really to the point of it being that busy. Um, I'll find it difficult. So I'll pause it and you'll get the idea what I'm talking about when I'm down here. So we'll start the recording off here and see how it goes. We've got a few nice old PMs. Lovely old Volvo there. Lotus. Some engine beer, that. Yeah. E type. <laughs> nice old Merc. You look standard. Yeah. Come on up. Fifteen hundred gold wing, same size engine as most cars. The old BM, Land Rover. Mark One Saxo VTR, super rare. These pre facelift, lovely. This is a guy that I know as well. Lovely little micro, automatic, CVT probably, very nice. A lot of these, I don't know, I, 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 I couldn't even tell you what these are to be honest. Uh, dragsters, old Ford, whatever they are. Nice colours. This be, must be our American section, that is two cars I want to show up here. Proper full on drag cars, I'll cut in when I get up there. We have some proper rubber on that. Size of them back tyres. You run on God knows what this thing, night wrist, ethanol, God knows what. Lovely. Giant and this as well. The size of them back tyres. Proper drag cars. And this whole thing. Get a look under there. The size of those tyres. Pushing some power, these things. Lovely. That's Rolls Royce, yeah. It's an old Rolls Royce. Let's get a look under the bonnet. Wow. Two huge turbos. That'll be pushing absolutely insane power, that. The size of those turbos, and God knows what it's running on. Obviously, proper drag cars, 0 to 60 in insane times. I'll get a bit more filming done for you guys, but it is absolutely insanely busy here. I can't even hardly get in at most of the cars without having to stand in a queue. So I'll swing the camera around and we'll just have a walk up here. Yeah, sorry about the silence, but I have I can't really talk much because there's so many people around. See this is the American section still. Lovely sunbeam there. We followed this in as well. Was, this was wasn't far uh, in front of her, very nice. Yeah, old mini collection here. Chris likes that, it's his private plate. <laughs> and 
Sinclair. Sinclair. Pretas. Lotus Sunbeam. Super rare these things now. Still be out the table on that one. Lovely. MGV6 Capri I'm sure that's the one we've just seen at the um, Matthewson's a few weeks ago 3D S Capri Lovely Volvo 2CV Evo Another Talbot Sunbeam Super, super rare these things now Another Lotus of some kind Sierra Cosworth Gonna lie, not really sure what some of those are old MGs. Lotus the Sierra. Stag there, V8, no doubt. Proper Triumph original engine in. Maserati. There's a Tomcat parked next to the 800, matching colours. Totally, I, totally uh, unplanned. Nice Porsche. Yeah, that was totally unplanned. They look great together. Defender. Little Sprite. Fog eyed Sprite. Defender. Nissan Pio. Never seen one. New one, me. Modified scene. Ah, the Mercedes, yeah. Charlie's picked out the Mercedes. And quite rare these now. Probably just the ST170, I would think. Old MG. Cortina. These are becoming quite rare now. Very nice. The red. Super clean that, 1800 injection. Three door Sierra, rear wheel drive. I think a few years must have thought I was buying one of them. Rear wheel drive, three door. A bit different to a C class coupe. Nice. Nice Golf GTI. TVR. I've got to take these here come up with the Oh do they really? Yeah, and that that comes off the other one. This is gosh. Nice TVRs here. Lovely colours, some of these, absolutely gorgeous. See down there's your American stuff. Couldn't even tell you what half of them are, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail. So I'll go back along to where we're parked. Some nice stuff down here. More TBRs. Little turbocharged Nissan van. Lovely. Sierra. Nice old Rover. It's a lovely colour, that Alpha. Pearl Lesson. Little mini. Sorry, I can't go into much detail, people. It's just it's so busy. It's nigh on un impossible. That's so tidy. This, there's another Fiesta like this next to it, and another one further up. Really tidy. Audi convertible. Do like these Fiat Coupe's five cylinder turbo. 
super clean that there. That is lovely that. Beautiful. So clean. Cavalier. TVR. TVR. This just looks so good. Honestly, this this was totally unplanned. Parked next to the 800 coupe, Tomcat and coupe. Wonder who that guy is on there. <laughs> yeah, you've already seen this on the channel, but uh, nice drive this car. Yeah, it's a good story behind this one, which I'll explain later. Really tidy. X5s. This is the clean one here. So original. Base spec. Gorgeous that is. It's like new condition. Really do like that. Yeah, that's Dickie's car that who's uh, who will be up with and bust these shows. So clean this thing, I love it. So clean. Four speed. I really do like this Cavalier L. I'm sure, he said it's a 1600. Really nice. Original plates. Coventry. Lovely. I'm going to get the keys off him, and uh, Charlie wants to ever sit in that later on. So, yeah. Really nice car. I can do a bit of talking around here. There's not too many people around, but honestly, it is just like being at Metro Centre up there. It is horrendous. I'm just having a bit of walk over here, but that's the majority of the cars in this show. But that's some further up, um, like all the supercars. I'm not even going to attempt to record them because it is just about impossible to even get near a car. In half the time there, I've had to queue and wait just to get next to a car just so I can walk, have some space on the camera to walk around it. So I'm really sorry, you guys, if that sounded, that, that was absolutely naff. Um, if it is, just let us know. But I can't, I, I, I can't do walk around description of any vehicle when it's this busy. It's impossible. So I hope you enjoyed it like that. But what I am going to do is um, go up to the racetrack, try and get a good seat and watch a few of the supercars and God knows what flying around the track. I'll get a bit of that in and then I'll end the video. I just thought I'd let you guys see what I see as best as I can manage with a mobile phone in my hand when it's this busy. So I'll catch you soon. Thought I would get a bit of this, Tiff Nadell. Once he comes on, we're on the pits here. All sorts of cars coming in. What's that? McLaren. He has Tiff Nadell coming now. Had to just show you this. Sounds nice. Look at that smoke. Charlie, he has Tiff Nadell ready. Oh, he's coming at the pit. Look at that Ferrari coming by. Nice to see an average car. at little Ibiza. Nice. That was yours, yeah. Tiff Nadell is just over there somewhere. Most times giving it some over there in the distance. Charlie's pointed out a Tesla coming. He has a Tesla coming by, isn't it, Charlie? Electric car. Is that an electric car? Followed by a few Aston Martins. So Tiff Nadell's going back out on the circuit, but unfortunately they're not using the straight. So I'm I'm in the pits, but I can't get any good videos. Unfortunately, I was expecting them to come straight down here, down the straight, but they're not. They're going in to the pits, back round and out. So we'll see. I'll try and get some more footage in shortly. Well, I said I would get some high-speed action and the marshals actually let me across. Didn't let Charlie across, he's had to wait over on the pits. But hopefully I'll get a high-speed uh, pass-by coming up, I'll just pause it. So there's everybody lined up in the pits, just waiting for one to come by now. There's a Focus. Focus Mark 1. Sounds awesome.
definitely worth the wait. There's Max Coates' car way. Yeah, they'll come back, not oh, coming into the pits. That focus is coming. Sounds awesome, that. Here's the Clio. It's a VW. Sat CC. He has the Passat CC. This thing sounds awesome. Get a look at some of the money's worth in here. Can't even guess the price tag on some of this. Hell of a car park this to be walking around. Can't tell you what any of them in, as you know, I'm not massively knowledgeable on supercars. But as it happens, I'm surrounded in them. Get some of this. Hold on, we've got some prices here. Have we? Yeah, 127,000. Uh, Ferrari, 71 plate, Brand Spankers. This lovely black green metallic. Another Ferrari. McLaren, Lotus, you name it. Just super cars everywhere you look. Get some of these. That a really fast one. Two Ferraris. Yeah, that's starting up. Lovely. Never seen as many supercars in one place. Ferrari. Golf GTI randomly. Another Ferrari. Another Ferrari. Another Ferrari. Lotus. One hell of a lineup. As I nearly fall down a hole. Yeah. That's not your average walk through a car park, is it? He has some more regular cars. Ibiza's the transit vans. Well, I didn't expect getting special access to the um, into the pits there. Do those drive-bys. Charlie's also met Tiff Nadell. I forgot the other lad's name. The, uh, the stock stock car, the touring car driver, Max. No, I forgot his name. My mind's gone to hell. So yeah, I didn't expect that. So. I'll pretty much leave that one leave that one here for now and I'll do it I'll do an end video later on once we get back to the cars. Yeah this is a bit of a development. We've been told that nobody can leave till five o'clock, so they're basically locking people in. We've got a lot of angry people stand waiting to be out with the barriers locked. So yeah, there's a lot of unhappy people uh, being told that you're not allowed to leave, you're stuck until five o'clock. Not doesn't bother us too much, we're having a good time, but uh, these people don't look happy. I'll just keep it rolling. As you can see, arguing. These are arguing. And there's the gates locked. No way out. There we go, thought I would add that bit in. Now I'm gonna try and go and get some footage of the, uh, the pits with the car zooming by. Yes, Tiff Nadell himself. Charlie's already met him. Wait for a blast. Made Charlie's day meeting Tiff, didn't it? Yeah, he stood with Tiff. He's a race car driver, he was on the telly. Yeah, I just thought I would get that little bit in as well. But by God, that's some uh, that's some money's worth around here. Something I can only ever 
quite upsetting dream of owning. Probably never will. <laughs> so yeah. I've just had Charlie on the fairground there, he's had a cracking time. Just to switch the camera over. He's been on all the rides, so that's made his day. So I'm just gonna head back to the car and sit in the sun and enjoy the good weather. Now I'll catch you soon when I'm finished at the show. I'm just walking back to the car now like I've mentioned we're trapped in here at about five o'clock I hope you've enjoyed it it's a bit of a mix and match uh, I tried not to do too much on the car show itself and done a bit more all round as in obviously there's the fairground there's the racetrack etc etc so I hope you've enjoyed it um, this isn't my normal thing I do as you know like car shows and stuff I just do basic walk arounds but uh, yeah it's been a fantastic day for me and Charlie isn't it you enjoyed it yeah uh, like I said, bonus to have met Tiff Nadell, um, had a signature off a few of this, uh, the race, other race drivers, so now we've just got the long walk right in the distance, which I've just walked from the track over there, back of the car, have an hour sit in the sun, I get from here, back to Middlesbrough, then I've got to drive back from Middlesbrough to home, I was up this morning at half four, five o'clock, so I'm starting to lag a little bit now, and it's... Uh, one of the guys who I passed in a, uh, one of the service vehicles said it was displaying 31 degrees on his the temperature readout on the car and by god it feels it so I'm going to get back drink plenty of water put some more sun cream on me and Charlie which I'm pleased I remember to bring and uh, chill I hope you guys enjoyed it please if you like if you like this hit the like button if there's anything you want to ask anything you want to say please leave a comment that's what it's there for and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe and I'll catch you on the next time I'm at a car show which I'm not sure when thanks for watching bye